Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. So we are gonna turn it over to Kathy and follow her around. Today is actually a pretty good day for us to show you guys how we ship stuff as well. So we're gonna follow Kathy around as she picks what's sold and show you guys what we are gonna use to ship those items in. All right, starting unbox you today. pair of shoes that has taken forever to sell. Um, they're just some Mizuno like volleyball shoes. I picked them up for $2.99, so not a huge investment, but um, they did sell for $22 with discount shipping on Posho. Not too bad, just took a while. Um, I probably would pick them up again for $2.99, but our thrift stores now have raised their prices quite a bit, and they'd probably be like $10. I'd definitely pass at that price. So uh, yeah, these sold on Poshmark, so they're just gonna go out in a Makes shoe it box. Easy. Yep. Shoe box and easy. done. <laughs> It's pretty rare that because there's a five pound limit on posh right so yeah. it's pretty rare that we're going to find a pair of shoes that would fit in a shoe box that would be more than five pounds yeah. so we we never really <laughs> i mean it's pretty easy to tell if it's if something's more than five pounds i think i've sold less than like four things that yeah. were over that we had to pay extra i just mentioned it because we never really mentioned that before that there is a five pound limit you can ship things that are heavier you just have to pay a little bit more for their shipping label this is just a boy's crew cut shirt. This is just my son's. I don't even remember where we bought it, but it's sold for $9 plus shipping on Mercari. So that's just gonna go in a poly mailer. Let's just do a smiley faces. All right, and then a CW. Hi, uh, so this is a Disney catalog uh, button-down shirt. It's a men's with embroidery. It was also a 3X, which I'm sure helped its cause on selling. I did pick that up for $5.99. I didn't see, it had like a weird, almost bleach like spot on the back. So mm. when I first got it, I was like, this should sell for like 40 bucks. But because of that, I priced it a little lower and I've dropped the price a couple times as well. But it still sold for $23.50 plus like $8.55 in shipping, so. Not too bad. Uh, that one was an eBay sale, so it's just going to go out in a padded flat rate because it is over a pound. And this is the cheapest way to ship out something over a pound because this person lived in California. Right. So if I would have done a box or my own poly mailer or anything like that, it would be more like eight fifty to ship out. So right, because under a pound, it's considered you could ship it at first class yeah. and. While that doesn't come with insurance or anything like priority does, but um, you know, we've shipped many things out first class and we have not lost anything yet. <laughs> so, but yeah, so these are well, how you ship something the cheapest way over a pound. Yeah, over a pound, and if it fits, that's what we like to do the padded flat rates. Shoes are. as well, sorry. <laughs> Even shoes, yeah. yeah. And then padded flat rates. probably wouldn't fit. Maybe. They're women's 11, so usually when you get to about a women's 10, it usually starts not fitting that well, but it really just depends on how thick they are too. These are the brand Abeo or Abio, however you say that. Um, these are like a comfort shoe brand. I, I like picking them up, they do well for me. This didn't sell for huge money, but I got them cheap, so I accepted a semi-low offer. They've been listed about 90 days, so that's kind of when I want to move them along. Had them listed at, I think, 48, which is a random amount, because I usually list everything at like $50 on Posh, because that way it puts it in the zero to yeah. 50, or 25 to 50, and also 50 to 100 category, if anyone's searching, so I don't know. I might have price dropped it at some point, so $48. They got the Posh VA offer, whatever that was, like, 39 or something and then they countered at 24 so I just accepted I only paid 550 for them that's like a $13 profit I was okay with that and again Poshmark's just gonna go in a padded flat rate or not not a padded flat rate <laughs> a shoe box so again super easy with that and then CV little girl glitter shoes these are the brand choose um, this is actually my first time finding the brand I've heard of it I knew it was pretty decent um, so I wanted to try it out for myself I did pay $4.99 which is 
kind of lot. I knew they'd only sell probably around $20 or so. Um, but yeah, they sold, I think, within about a month. So I would pick them up again. $4.99 into $19.68 plus shipping. Not too bad. Um, th that sold on eBay. So we're going to do a just a poly mailer. Because that brings it in under a pound, right? Yep. Yeah, these are only like nine ounces. So I paid for the... So if you don't know, like on eBay, I see a lot of labels where people like did 10 ounces or something, but there's really no point in that because yeah, like you can see these are 8.6 ounces before you add the poly, you do have to add the poly weight, which I know is about like half an ounce usually. Yeah. So on eBay, it doesn't matter if something's 10 ounces, it's the same price as 12 ounces. So right. it's four, eight, 12, 16. Um, so if it's anything in between those, just pick the next four. Right. Because of, might as well give yourself the little extra weight in case their postal right. skill weighs in a little differently than yours. So, yeah. I always just think it's funny when people pick like 10 or 11 ounces because it's the same price and you get right. the same label. You might as well just get the little bit of extra. Yeah, you're definitely not going to get in trouble for having a lighter item than what the label is purchased for. Yeah. Um, so just, put, you know, put on the maximum that that label can hold just to have a little buffer case the scales are different <laughs> and i don't even think that would really matter in the long run anyway no but if if their you know weight says that it's still under whatever that label cost i don't think they're gonna charge you or anything like that but that's what we do at least so i sold these keen shoes on ebay these have been actually listed a while i thought those would sell a lot sooner but glad they did sell i paid 4.99 sold them for 26.05 plus shipping they are just going to Colorado, so these are over a pound. Generally, I would do a pad of flat rate, but since they're going to our state, it was actually 20 cents cheaper to just do a regular old box. So that's what we're gonna do. Shoe box. Yeah. Which this is a good time. If you are looking to get supplies, load up now because yeah. Q4 is coming. <laughs> they Who might run it? out of stuff, so yeah, we ordered. And this sounds like a lot, but we probably will use this in a month. Like yeah. 100 or so shoe boxes. We ordered 100. Yep. Pad of flower rates. We'll probably do another 100 order here soon because we did not want to run out of that. Stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, not just a hoard, but we literally sell over 100 pairs of shoes a month. Probably right. 200 pairs of shoes a month at least. So. And not all of them go out shoe box, yeah. but probably at least a good amount of them do. Yeah. yeah, they will be put to use for <laughs> sure. So load up on your supplies now while they are still available. <laughs> uh, so I sold these Echo Men sandals. These sold for $38.97 plus shipping on eBay. Um, they cost me $6.99, so pretty good sale. Me, yeah. So I did a three pound label um, on these. So this person just lived in South Dakota. It was actually pretty cheap to ship to South Dakota. So yeah, I did a shoe box for that as well. I think this three pounds only cost like eight forty seven or something. That was pretty good because three pounds to Florida, New York is gonna be like thirteen sixty eight. So right. that was nice that they lived there. Cause I think I charged only like I don't know, you'll see it on the screen, maybe like ten ninety nine right. or something like that. So sometimes you eat the dollar, sometimes you get the extra dollar. Right. And it's, you know, it's a good idea to get familiar with your location and yeah. how things cost. Like if you live in California and you're shipping to the East Coast. Yeah, it's going to be really expensive. That's going to be a lot more than what we're shipping yeah. to the East Coast. Yeah. So, so I think. Yeah. Just get familiar with it's your own rates. Bad. Most of our rates, yeah, like 13 bucks one way or the other is about the most it gets for three pounds. Uh, so these are just some little baby aviator nation shorts um i bought these off kittism for my son he did wear them a few times i paid 15 for them sold them on ebay for 30 dollars 25 cents free shipping these weigh like one ounce so the shipping was the four ounce label which only right. cost 312. Uh, because these are so tiny i'll just use my little tiny poly here yeah i bought these a long time ago like a 500 pack for like eight bucks so i'm gonna have these forever but <laughs> <laughs> we use them when we can which isn't a ton, but they're good for little kid stuff. Yeah, it's basically the size of the la the label. <laughs> like, the label fits on one side, and the other side is yeah, just the back. if you have jewelry and stuff, those would be, like, really yeah. good. But. All right, DC. <laughs> this dog naps more than any other creature I've ever seen. It's like a cat. <laughs> so these are some Levi's 501s. They do have the, like, selvage 
whatever that is on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were a really nice pair of jeans. I think the color didn't help their cause that much, but I mean, I always hear like Levi's 501s are really good, mm -hmm. but these took a while to sell and they only sold for $26.96 plus ship, which I think that's pretty good for a pair of Levi's, which is a pretty standard sort of pant, but right. I think the 501s all are button fly, which is something that some people like. I don't know why I would not want to <laughs> button fly buttons on my pants every single day, but <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I did pay six ninety nine for those, just hoping to get like around forty, but I'm still happy with twenty six ninety six. So jeans, I pretty much always do a padded flat rate. The jeans are pretty heavy. Some of them are even over two pounds. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, unless they're like fleece or flannel lined or something, even like men's forty fours and stuff like that, I've sold several and fit them in here. So sometimes you have to roll them a little, but they do fit. Yeah. See. These are the Van Garnet Hill. They're just some kid wool slippers. Um, I picked these up at a Once Upon a Child. I think these were only like three bucks, but since I averaged my cost of goods, they came out to $5.95 that day. And they sold for $17.13 plus shipping. So not huge, but making some money. Um, do a pad of not a pet, but we have on these, guys. So, and these were super light. The shipping was only like, I didn't write it down, but under four bucks for sure. These only weigh like six ounces. So that is those. All right, top shelf Sorrells. Yep. These actually took longer to sell than I thought that they would, but these are some youth girl size, like the Joni, Joan of Arc or Joni Boots or something mm. like that. Um, these, I think also we're going to South Dakota, no, North Dakota. Oh. So um, shipping again was fairly cheap for those. And which was good because, so these weigh like one pound, 12 ounces. So even if we would have cut the box down, it would have been just over. And yeah, I'm just glad I didn't have to pay three pounds. That was $13. So it was only like eight something to ship these out. But yeah, I'm doing a shoe box for those. <laughs> and then box T. This is something that took forever to sell. So very glad to see it go. They're just some little kids' Yankees vans, which I've sold several pairs of these before because I used to hit up the van store locally up in Castle Rock a lot. And for a while I was finding a bunch of um, MLB like ones. So Team I had these, yeah. Red Sox, Rocky, like different ones like that. So yeah. Um, I bought these ones at Goodwill though for $7.99 and they sold for $25 was an offer I sent and someone someone sent me that offer and I accepted <laughs> I was ready to move those. I'm pretty sure I've had those well over a year at this point. So. Oh, so those weren't new ones from the outlet? No. Those were just used? Yeah, but I've okay. sold several others from the outlet right, and those right. ones sold kind of quicker and for more. So, yeah. Um, since that was Poshmark. Do you like a little yeah, either rate probably A or something? I kind of like these. Oh, that's the B. Those ones are yeah. too big. The A's are pretty small. Oops. <laughs> there's a regional A box. There's two regional A's and two regional B's. I think both the regional A's are like the same cubic inches, but they're just different shape boxes. And this one does really well for mm -hmm. shoes. Yeah, so I'll probably either do that and then just add a little packing paper, or I might try one of the square boxes. Yeah, the well, eight by eights or whatever. Yeah. So, to be determined, but yeah. again, Poshmark, you can use whatever you want. You, you could technically it ship it in a 13 by 13 by nine if you really yes. wanted to be that person. <laughs> if that's all you had, you know, yeah. go for it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's... And you could always cut that down too. So. That is true. All right, let's do this one since we're here, BC. We try to keep the boxes as small, small as possible. Yeah. Uh, so this is a Polo Ralph Lauren, like a Sherpa, Aztec, Southwestern type of jacket. This I bought for my son off thread up a while back for $13.35 and he did wear it and I sold it for $19.95 plus shipping on eBay. That's just going to go out in a mailer. Dropping everything. <laughs> Alright, and last but not least, a CN. 
My glasses keep falling off. <laughs> I need a tightener. This is a pretty good one. These are the brand Anu. And these I got at that estate sale, so $7.47 into them. They sold for $38.63 plus shipping, so not bad. And yeah, I did a pad of flat rate on these. Let me show you that label really fast without like... I was I had to remind myself because I actually printed this label last night. Um, I'm just going to cover the personal data. So if you like forget, like a padded flat rate is going to say padded yeah. FR envelope, flat rate envelope. So. Right. Yeah. So that is what that was. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got quite a bit to go through. We'll get that stuff all packed up and we'll be right back. <laughs> Did you help Reese? Yeah. <laughs> Got everything all packed up, ready to go. Did not have any more sales come in. Let me check. Well, <laughs> I guess we haven't even checked. <laughs> no, and yeah, we uh, we kind of went out and went shopping today <laughs> instead of what we said we were supposed to do. Yeah, but I did photograph 25 pairs yesterday and I'm almost done listing them all, so I feel good about that. Yeah, yeah, yesterday Shoes we- are just so easy and fast to list, so. We did get a lot of stuff done yesterday. I don't think we talked about it in yesterday's video Mostly just because we were short on time. Yeah, like the shoes that you kept seeing there yeah. for a while. So that front wrap there is the ones I photographed and are almost done listing. They should be done by the end of day. Yeah. But basically all the shoes on these, on this back rack, they've just been kind of like going back and forth for so long because they needed something right. or another done. Like it's something as simple as a number taken off the bottom or tiny little bit of cleaning yeah. or uh, shoelace stringed up the right way. So yeah, we did spend some time doing that, but that's mostly what we did yesterday. But yeah, we got 60 pairs completely prepped and then 25 of them got photographed. Right. The rest should get photographed today. Yep. Kathy did do some live listing with the boys <laughs> over uh, Joey Bada Bing 22 and Drew over at Profit Monsters. Um, every Monday they do like a uh, evening listing show live stream and everybody goes and does some listings and stuff i kind of played some video games with the boys but um I think they had over 200 people yeah they hit 200 viewers at, at one time that was awesome so um if you haven't checked it out it is very motivating <laughs> and they do giveaways and stuff so if you're available on monday nights definitely go check them out we're usually there sometimes we chat most of the time She's working, <laughs> so we don't really interact a whole, whole lot, but we do stay and watch the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Gonna get the stuff off to the post office and pick up the boys from school, and that's gonna do it for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.